today I thought I would read from a collection called Staying Alive, Real Poems but in Real Time. I really like this collection. It's a great one to just kind of dip in and out of because I don't know about you but I find sometimes I end up reading the same poets again and again, mainly because I love them, but I feel kind of a bit stuck sometimes. So this collection I find is really great because you can grab it, flick it to a page, and there's someone that you've never, perhaps never read before. It's also really interesting the way that it's segmented because it's done into different kind of life issues, as it were. So you've got a whole section on love, death, art of poetry, your relationship with the environment and with earth, war and peace. It goes on. So it's really nice because then you've got that thematic relationship of the different poems and you can read a few in in one go and and discover different connections between them. And then the other thing is at the back they're all listed alphabetically, which is perfect because it means you don't have to even try and remember what section that, that poem was in. So today I'm reading you um, Stone Picker by Frida Hughes. It's in the Dead or Alive section. Stone Picker by Frida Hughes. She is scooped out and bow-like, as if her string has been drawn tight. But really, she is plucking stones from the dirt for her shoulder bag. It is a dead albatross, her cross, her choice. In it lie her weapons. Each granite sphere or sea-worn flint has weight against your sin. You cannot win, she calls you close but not to let you in, only for a better aim. So yeah, it's quite a short one, but I really like it. I like the idea that her cross is her choice, because usually if you have a cross to bear, it's not something you'd ever choose. And also the image of the albatross, for me personally, instantly calls to mind Keats and his ancient mariner. And then I guess, again, the issue of choice and action. The ancient mariner shot down the albatross and then was basically cursed and had to wander and retell his tale wherever he went. And from what we can see here, this female persona, this figure who's anonymous and just is captured within the poem, is forced to collect stones, which ultimately she'll throw at you for each of your sins. So there's crime, punishment, I guess judgment, perhaps after death. So yeah, it's a really interesting poem. And also, I, I struggled a bit there. There's a lot of S sounds. Stone, albatross, cross, choice, spear, sea. <laughs> There's a little bit of a tongue twister. And I guess that kind of echoes that flowing action of picking up a stone and back into the bag. Stone, bag, stone, bag. And also the... The idea that it's perhaps near the sea, you've got the albatross who obviously flies over the sea and stones on a rocky shore, which is an image that came straight to my mind. Enjoy!